morning everyone. I am clearly not ready for the day yet. I didn't intend on starting the video yet, but Ross just texted me on his way out to go to work to inform me that there is food downstairs. So I completely forgot that my building was having a holiday breakfast this morning and it's definitely over by now, but apparently there's a bunch of food left and they were trying to get people to take it. So I'm gonna go see what's there and get some free holiday breakfast. What a nice way to start my little holiday themed day in the life vlog. So let's see what's there. Okay, I'm back. I have acquired the breakfast goods I was setting at the table where it made more sense to have plates of food, but the lighting was wild. There is so much sun pouring in here right now, which I'm so grateful for, but the lighting over there wasn't working. So here we are on the couch with all this food, but I got a cup of orange juice, a plate of fruit. We got some cantaloupe, a little orange slice, a ton of watermelon. There's so much watermelon left. I'm not complaining. I love some watermelon. And then I got a bagel with cream cheese with peppers and this croissant which appears to be apple. So yum, that's a ton of food, but they had a lot of food left and uh, the doorman was just like, please take it. We're about to get rid of it. Just take whatever you want. <laughs> so yay, what a nice way to start the morning. So as I said earlier, this is just gonna be a little Christmas themed day in the life. I have been having a rough go at life the past couple of weeks. I talked about it a little bit in my last vlog, but things have just been hitting the fan and everything's okay. Don't worry about me. I've just been really, really stressed out. And in this past week, it's just, it's gotten even worse. Normally there would be a video going up today. It is Saturday and there's no video going up today because last week was just so chaotic that I couldn't even get a video ready. Last night, I was still planning to try to get one out today. And I was like, I cannot sit here and edit any longer. And it was kind of more of an involved video uh, that's taking a lot of time and it will still go up, just not right now. <laughs> but I am actually insane and I'm thinking about trying to put this video up tomorrow. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. But I thought that I'm getting derailed. My whole point in saying that I've been having a rough go at least the past couple weeks is because I love Christmas so much and I have not been in the holiday spirit this year. So I'm allowing myself this whole day to just enjoy Christmas things. And I'm gonna take you along with me. I need to do some Christmas shopping. We're gonna go see some Christmas trees. It's just gonna be a very relaxed Christmassy day in Brooklyn. So I hope you will enjoy hanging out with me. Okay, so I'm back in my robe. This is how I looked before I went downstairs to get breakfast. I really just put those clothes on to go get breakfast and now we're back. I considered staying dressed, but this just seemed better. <laughs> so I'm about to do some Christmas themed fingernails. As you can see, my nails are bare, which I hate. So I'm gonna do my Christmas nails. I'm a little stressed because these are gonna be the actual nails that I have for Christmas and it's still a week and a couple of days away. So I'm hoping they're gonna last, but the good news about doing your own is that if something happens, I can just fix them. So I'm gonna be doing a little tri-color moment. I'm gonna do red on these two fingers. I'm gonna do silver glitter on the middle finger and green glitter on the thumb and pinky. I'm gonna be doing my nails very short. I used to be a nail biter. I bit my nails for probably the first gosh, I want to say 25 years of my life. And so when I first managed to kick the habit and started doing my nails a lot, I tried to keep them really long because I was just so happy to have nails at all. But I just don't like it. I just don't like the feeling at all. So I'm gonna keep them short. I also feel like the dip powder stays on longer for me when they're shorter. I've mentioned on the channel before, but I'll say it again in case you haven't seen those videos, uh, that I use Rebel Nail products to do my nails. I use their dip powders and their liquids, and I really love their products, and there is a referral code in the description. This is not sponsored or anything. It's just like the normal referral code that anybody 
can get, uh, but you get a percentage off, I get rewards points, it's good for everybody. <laughs> this is probably also a good time to mention that I now have an Amazon storefront. I've had it for probably over a month now and have just not remembered to mention it, but it's linked in the description. Um, all my favorites are on there, things that you've seen in my videos before, but I rave about like the pants and that pink sweater and just like stuff I like. The equipment I use, all of that is on my Amazon storefront if you want to take a look. I'm so bad at this stuff. I like I never think to plug stuff like that. I'm not big on trying to sell people things so just know that if I am ever telling you about a product it's because I really do like it because I'm just not much of a salesperson. <laughs> I do enjoy doing my nails, but sometimes when I do them, when I have like other plans for the day and I do them in the morning before I start my plans for the day, I just get so frustrated because I just want to be done and start my day. <laughs> and I'm kind of feeling that way right now. Done. I don't know if I like them, to be completely honest. <laughs> uh, I kind of wish, I kind of wish I would have just done red and silver. But the green was new, so I really wanted to use it. Or maybe if I'd just done the green pinky and done the thumb red, I would be happier. Something's weird about it. I don't know, here they are. I'm finally at 1 p.m. about to get ready. And I feel like you've seen that enough. So, I'm not gonna make you watch that again. I am now ready. You didn't miss anything. Same old putting on makeup and curling my hair as always. I'm wearing this red leather jacket that I don't really wear too frequently, but I don't know, it's cute. It's festive. I'm in the spirit. I'm gonna go out to the holiday markets slash markets that are always there and maybe some stores and do some Christmas shopping today. I've managed to get a little bit behind. I was really proud of myself at the beginning of the month because I felt like I was doing great on my shopping, but then I think I got complacent and now I am behind. So I'm gonna do that. And since it is a balmy 54 degrees outside in December in New York City, I'm also just gonna go for a walk and we're gonna check out some Christmas trees around Brooklyn. So let's go. Here's the four green part tree. She's cute. She's got these big classic textured colorful lights. Kids can use Santa letters here. How cute is that? This box has definitely seen better days though. If anyone local is watching and needs a spot to drop your Christmas tree once Christmas is over, uh, this is at Fort Greene Park at the north side by Washington and Myrtle. I'm leaving the Fort Greene Park Artisans Market right now. It's there every Saturday from nine to like four or five-ish. It says four on the sign, but I've definitely seen it there later. But I didn't get anything, but they had some really cute stuff. And I'm stressed that I'm leaving because I'm afraid if I decide I wanna get some of it, it's gifts that I won't have time to get back. But I don't know, I don't know. 
Shopping for people is so hard. I just want everyone to love everything. I'm headed to the holiday market in the City Point building, which is honestly my favorite holiday market. I could be biased because it's just nice to have stuff that you can watch you from where you live, but I love that it's never crazy crowded and the vendors are really, really good. So I'm hopeful that I will find at least something for somebody in here. Well, I wanted to show you guys this Christmas tree, but something is happening to it. Well, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're just adjusting the lights? Anyway, there it is. last year as a result of having breast cancer 10 years ago. I wore pink ballet flats, all of my treatment to brighten my day, give me courage. And I thought, you know what, instead of sending another casserole, why don't we send pink shoes to brighten someone's day? So they all come packaged in these handmade duster bags. And now going forward, every color that we launch represents a type of cancer. We have navy for colon, and we have orange for kidney and leukemia. So send a little pop of color and some courage to anybody in your life that's facing cancer. Thank you. I'm home and despite what it looks like outside, it is only five o'clock. I will never get used to this ever, no matter what. But I just had the loveliest time out walking around and exploring the artisan markets. I met so many awesome people who were just really proud of the work that they do and the things that they make. I love going to those places and just talking with people because everybody has a story. And I was particularly touched by Lisa, who you just saw, Poppies with Purpose. She told you all about it, I don't have to. But she was just so lovely. She was just telling me with such passion about why she started making shoes. And I was like, I'm a YouTuber and I'm working on a video right now. Would you like to tell the viewers about this? Which is always like, I don't love doing that. It makes me very nervous. I don't want to put anyone on the spot, but she seemed so pleased and was happy to talk to the camera, which I really appreciated. And she gifted me a Poppies with Purpose t-shirt. It's so cute. It's got a little pink flower on it and it says Poppies with Purpose on the back and that's just so nice. She really didn't have to give me anything, but it's very soft and I'm excited to wear it. I did end up buying a couple of gifts and I am gonna show you, but if you are my Aunt Regina or either of my grandmothers, you gotta stop watching. You have to stop watching. I'm gonna put a timestamp here. You can start watching again at this timestamp, but you cannot watch this next Heart or you're gonna ruin your Christmas surprise. So from Reset Reality, I got my Aunt Regina this very pretty painting of a little hummingbird. She loves hummingbirds and I just thought this was really pretty and that she would like it. Oh, I also got um, this pin with the same hummingbird on it. I just saw it laying there and thought I'd grab that too. And then for both of my grandmothers and myself, <laughs> I picked up a eucalyptus body butter from Savon Blue. It smells so good and it feels so good. It's nice and thick, amazing. I did see several things there that I was interested in getting for people, but ended up not getting. But I kind of feel like I might go back tomorrow. <laughs> I know Ross wanted to go look, so maybe we'll both go back together tomorrow and maybe I'll end up grabbing something else, but I'm pleased with my purchases. And now I'm gonna play some clarinet. I am so excited because I just got my clarinet back from the repair guy yesterday and it sounds so nice it feels so much easier to play for those of you who aren't aware um musical instruments need regular maintenance just like a car i actually had a student say that to me the other day when i was telling him that 
his clarinet would need repairs. He was like, oh, like a car? <laughs> and I think that's a great comparison. You know, you take your car in for an oil change, you take your clarinet in to have the keys adjusted and the pads changed. So it had been way too long since I'd done that. And this guy was in rough shape and feeling pretty difficult to play. And now it just feels so nice and easy to play. And I thought that I would play a Christmas tune for you guys with a backing track that I found on YouTube. I'll link the backing track below. I'm about to head back out one more time this evening because I need to take a very sweet doggy client of mine named Oatmeal for a nighttime walk. So we're gonna go do that and I'm gonna take him over to my favorite Christmas tree in the whole city, which you guys have seen before, literally in the last vlog, but we're gonna go see it again because it's amazing. I'm back from walking oatmeal and I'm just gonna change into my Christmas pajamas and enjoy the rest of the night in. I lit a candle. I've got my sweet green salad. It is the harvest bowl. It's got kale and chicken and apples and cheese and all that stuff. I am officially in for the night. I'm all comfy and cozy and I'm just gonna enjoy my dinner and watch Elf to wrap up my super Christmassy day. It is my absolute favorite Christmas movie and I haven't watched it yet this year, so I'm very excited. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite Christmas movie is. I would love to know. I really hope you enjoyed spending this Christmassy day in Brooklyn with me and I'll see you in the next one. Best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing.